In John's vision of the throne, he beheld a person upon the throne, presumably a likeness of God the Father on his heavenly throne. John described the appearance of the personage in terms of two precious gems, jasper and sardine stone. The throne itself was described as an emerald. That John used three stones to describe what he saw and that these stones were of a particular color is not accidental or serendipitous. Like everything else in John's vision, John saw the ancient configuration of planets, Saturn, Venus, and Mars. These planets appeared as brilliant gemstones along the Axis Mundi, forming the figurative spinal column of the cosmic man, like these depictions of chakras in the human body. The Axis Mundi as the spinal column of the heaven man is a universal mythic theme. The first stone John noted was Jasper. John used the Greek Iaspis, which referred to a translucent or semi-transparent stone. Jasper can be found in various colors, ranging from red to yellow to brown to green. The Jasper in this case was of the yellow-brown variety and signified Saturn, which has a similar yellow-brown coloration. Later in his Apocalypse, John used Jasper to typify the Holy Jerusalem descending from heaven and described it as being clear as crystal. The Holy City Jerusalem he saw was the planet we know as Saturn, which we will identify in another episode in this series. In the astrological and magical traditions of the past, Jasper was associated with the planet Saturn. According to the renowned astrologers Paracelsus, Agrippa, Kircher, and Lilly, each planet was associated with or assigned certain gemstones. Onyx, Topaz, and Jasper were assigned to Saturn. The second stone was the Sardine Stone. In Greek, this is Sardion, also known as Carnelian. This stone is brownish red due to the presence of iron oxide impurities. Due to its reddish color, this gemstone was associated with the planet Mars and is to be identified as the red planet in John's vision. The third and remaining stone in John's triad is the emerald, or smaragdinus in the Greek. Emeralds are generally green though they can have other colorations, including a blue-green hue. The planet Venus we see today is normally described as a yellowish-white and not the green of the precious stone. But there are good reasons to believe that Venus once appeared to the earthbound observer with a green or blue hue. For example, the famed astrologers noted previously all associated the planet with the emerald and with other bluish-green stones, including turquoise and beryl. The planet Venus was the archetypal mother goddess. Among the goddesses' numerous incarnations throughout the ancient world, there were several that were either green or blue. One version of the mother goddess in Buddhism is Tara, who appears as a female Buddha. Tara has various colorations, but one of the most widely known forms is as the Green Terra. Note the red disc behind her head signifying Mars and the golden enclosure signifying Saturn. The famous Sumerian Inanna was often portrayed as being green. One of her titles was the Green One. Like her Sumerian counterpart, the Egyptian Isis was also called the Green Goddess. Her color, according to hieroglyphic inscriptions, was like unto the greenness of the earth. Isis was also portrayed as blue in color. Mary, the mother of Jesus, is often portrayed as the Queen of Heaven, 
following the same ancient mother goddess archetype. Mary is most often robed in white and blue. This depiction of Mary with the Sacred Heart contains all the elements of John's vision except that the personage is female. Mary as the Mother Goddess Venus wears a blue robe and holds a red heart representing the planet Mars. Her halo is yellow gold which reflects the planet Saturn. The Axis Mundi or the alignment of the planets Saturn, Venus, and Mars along Earth's axis was anciently expressed as a tree, a mountain, or a tower, among many other things. But it was also thought to be a man or woman rising up from the Earth to the heavens, or, as in this case, in a sitting position in the heavens. John used this heaven man with his spine of gemstones to describe God the Father sitting upon his throne, or, in other words, our Father who is in heaven. 